All right, guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. My name's Kermit, and this is a 1969 big block Camaro. We're going to take it outside. We're going to start it up. We're going to take it for a drive. We're going to put it up on the hoist. You can check out the underside. We'll give you the engine specs. We'll take a look at the interior, the body, the whole nine yards, so you can make a good decision when you go to buy a classic car. Uh, let's get started, shall we? All right, guys, starting from the front of it here, I mean, we can just say that the paint is just absolutely immaculate. There's really no flaws in it that I can see. The hood gaps are absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can lay a level across this. It's really, really nice, guys. Um, of course, it's got the black uh, stripes on it, too. That's a, that's a big uh, plus. I always like, you know, plain cars are always, you know, a little bit uh, drab. But we have uh, 396 badges, and it is a big block, as I said, disc brakes. Uh, great looking wheels with the, with the billet outer ring and the, uh, the powder coated inside that look great. Um, Silvertown radial red lines, that's a radial tire so you don't have to deal with the, you know, the problems of driving a bias ply car around on the street. Uh, SS badges on the car. Once again, the door, the door paint, beautiful mirrors, you know, nice uh, stiff adjustment too. There's no, you know, none of that sloppiness that you see often with worn out mirrors body gap here excellent you know and also on the fender up here excellent you could lay a level across it convertible and the doors open and close just fine very little very little effort needed that means the you know the latches are set up correctly and uh you know the car's nice and solid got our louvers here I stick my hand up here there's no rust to speak of on this car at all and uh, of course we've got the same good looking uh Silvertown radial back here, red lines, same good looking rim. We do have bra uh, drum brakes in the back. Moving to the back, we've got our little lights back here. Deck lid looks just absolutely excellent. And same thing, body gaps are great all the way around. You can lay a level across this thing. Paint, excellent. Lenses, excellent. I mean, there's, there is no flaws. The bumper chrome, I mean, look at that. It looks like it was just redone, and it's actually a really nice straight bumper. I would be surprised to uh, see that that's a repop bumper, or I'm not certain if it is or not. I don't believe it to be because it looks so nice. Coming around the edge, other side here. I mean, quarter panel paint, excellent. Wheels, tires, flawless. Of course, we've got the door gap on this side just to show you guys. Nice and easy, and I'd like to point out that the interior lights are also functional. Nice and easy. I mean, this is a darn nice uh, Camaro, guys. Door gaps up here, great shape. One thing I'd like to show you guys is how we, the, the inside of the trunk as well, that's something Greg also does. Get the keys out of the ignition. Nice and easy, open. I mean, look at that right there. Just like it rolled out of the factory the uh, factory or showroom floor, guys. I mean, excellent. No rust. There's no pitting, which is something you often see with these cars. Is you know, it looks as if somebody has just you know, this thing was full of water and sat like that for a while, rusted, and somebody spray painted over it. You know, to try to, you know, sell the car. This is. I mean, this trunk pan is in beautiful shape. Doesn't even look like it's ever been patched or uh, a lot of the time you'll see you know repair panels. But I mean, I can't find a seam in here that's not a factory seam. I mean, that, this, is, this is a great example of a 69 Camaro, guys. Excellent. Wiring, you know, all the wiring doesn't look all messed up and haggled like you often see with, um, you know, a lot of classic cars that a million and a half people have worked on. All of your, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, weather strips. All those are in really good shape. Everything looks like it seals very nice, which is probably why the trunk's in as good a shape as it is. Take the key out, and just to show you guys, nothing wrong with that right there. Let's take a look at the interior. All right, guys, look at these door panels. I mean, abs absolutely excellent. A lot of the time you'll see them start to wave down here at the bottom as water has gotten into the doors and started, you know, I mean, my personal car actually had started to do that before I replaced it and fixed the, fixed the leak, of course. 
feeling across the bottom of these uh, doors here, a lot of the time that's where the rust likes to happen because water will get down in here, which I'd like to point out these weather seals all look like they've been replaced as well. So there's no rust on the bottoms of these doors. All of your uh, weather stripping feels like it's in excellent shape. The paint here looks like it's all in pretty good shape. Nothing really wrong with that. Your uh, switch for your uh, interior lights, which they are all, like I said, in the uh, body of the uh, car. Everything is functional. Um, it is a stick car, and uh, I do believe it, uh, yep, four-speed, Muncie. Excellent. I mean, you can see the seats are in great shape. The carpet looks like it was just recently replaced. I mean, it's in excellent shape as well. Um, back seat just looks like it's in great shape as well. There's nothing wrong with this interior. And the only modification that I can see that's been made here is it has a, a set of aftermarket gauges there for uh, accuracy for your engine uh, specification, or I guess diagnostics, I guess you would want to call it. Uh, so you know you're safe there, and you also have an aftermarket radio, so you know it's a little more pleasurable on longer drives, so you can listen to what you want to. Uh, aftermarket, if not aftermarket, it's a, a sport steering wheel in it. Gauges look like they're in good shape. I mean, this is just a really nice car, guys. Let's go take a look at the passenger side. All right, guys, this is the other side. Same, pretty much this exact same condition that the uh, driver's side is in. Of course, I'm going to run my hand along here. No rust whatsoever. And you can probably even see in the reflection of the floor that, you know, how, because you could tell it's painted under here. All of your uh, weather strips are in great shape as well. All of your, um, I guess it would be uh, door jam paint, that's all in great shape. But the vents are not all cracked up and destroyed as they typically are on these. The dash pad looks like it's in good shape. I mean, for I mean, your glove box, just open, close, that easy. Everything is, I mean, it's, it's like a brand new 1969 Camaro, guys. It's, it's amazing how good a shape this thing is in. Um, I'd like to also just, you know, just give you a window roll up, just how easy everything works on this car. I mean, it's a lot of the time you get these where they're, you know, kind of hanky, things are going on with it. You hear big pops and things of that, you know, as the because nothing's adjusted properly or things are aftermarket in the doors. Not with this one, guys. This is this is a really nice car. All right, now that you've had a quick look at the car, if you want to go straight to our website and check out about 180 other cars, hit the top button. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit the middle button. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bottom button. Now let's get back out there and check out that car. All right, let's go for a ride in this big block Camaro convertible. What a sweet car. Shifting gears, tops down, beautiful paint. Awesome. Love shifting gears in these cars that have these awesome exhaust systems. This thing sounds fantastic going down the road. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we are shipping experts. We can ship this Camaro anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Now Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So give him a call anytime. He'd love to tell you all about how easy it will be to park this dream in your drive. Okay, down here on the dash, uh, the Speedo is not working, but the guys will make that Speedo work. We got an aftermarket uh, radio, and we have some aftermarket gauges there down by the console. I'm going to flip in the BMW dealership here and turn around right after the Dorito. Whoop, there comes another car. Do a quick Yui here. Well, she'll bust a Yui, no problem. Now we get to listen to that exhaust again. Listen to that baby, man, she sounds good. Now our shop's right outside the Motor City. We're only 20 minutes from the airport. So if you wanna come visit, please fly on in, drive on in. We'd love to show you this car. Now, if you wanna send an inspector, please send him on down, just give us a call, let us know he's coming. We can have the car right here at our main facility. We actually have two buildings now. So we'll check, you know, we'll show this car to them. We can put it up on the lift, anything you want. Now, if you see anything on the car that you'd like a little different, 
You say, man, that would be my perfect car if it only had had this or that. Heck, talk to Tom, we may be able to do it for you. Just mention what you'd like to see on the car and we'll see if we can get you a price and we can do it for you. I tell you what, this convertible sure feels great. Driving out here in the sun, got a beautiful sunny day here. She's riding nice, driving nice and straight. Brakes feel good, trans is feeling great. She's downshifting good. And then of course, listen to that exhaust. Man, it sounds cool. Now here's our shop right here at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So you gotta stick around now because we're gonna do something you don't often get to see. We're gonna put this baby up on the lift so you can check out the underside and then you can bet we're gonna check out that big block under the hood. All right guys, we're underneath our 1969 convertible Camaro now. Uh, we can see that the, the back uh, little valance panel here, oh, that's all in good shape. It looks like it was painted with the bumper off the car just as it should have been. Moving forward, the gas tank's in good shape. Uh, the straps, those look like those were replaced with the tank as they should have been. Um, our bushings here for the, the uh, leaf springs, those are in good shape. We've got our mono leafs here. Um, factory muffler on the car along with the factory style exhaust system on it. Sounds fine, nothing wrong with that. Just the way the GM designed it. Moving forward from here, we got, uh, looks like new shocks on the car. Uh, also, a, a big positive of this car is that the uh, brake lines on this thing are stainless steel, and uh, brake and gas lines, I will say that, uh, because the gas line is actually stainless as well. Um, all of which look to have been replaced, and all of which are in excellent shape. And with stainless, of course, you don't ever have to worry about them deteriorating. Uh, moving forward, we got, uh, looks like our parking brake is actually hooked up on this car too, which is nice, brand new soft line. Um, exhaust hangers in good shape. Uh, a note about this rear end, this rear end is a GM 10 bolt rear end. It houses about a 308 gear in it. Uh, it is uh, an open differential and uh, the suffix code here on the, uh, the tube here actually implies this could very well be the uh, rear end that this car was born with. Uh, I would say for sure whether or not uh, based on a date code that you find back here, but uh, casting slag has obscured it to the point where I can't really see it. So we're going to go with more than likely. Um, moving forward, it looks like there's been a lot of extensive metal work done to this car. I mean, they all, all of it which looks to be very quality work. We've got new floor pans uh, all the way to the back so they didn't just scab in a piece. I mean, they replaced all of it. Um, even uh, back here above the rear end, even possibly even a trunk pan as well. So they've, they've really, all the metal on this car is fresh. Uh, and of course, this being a convertible, that's very important that you have uh, structurally sound metal. Uh, looks like they, uh, I'm, not, I'm not certain if these are factory or not, I don't believe they are these uh, frame rail connectors here and that's an added bonus because this is as, uh, as you saw, this is a convertible which is very important to uh, maintain structural rigidity down here. Moving forward even more, trans cross member looking good, trans uh, mount looking good. Uh, this here is a Muncie transmission, Muncie 4 speed to be exact. Um, this one was actually assembled uh, December 23rd, 1967, it's a 68 uh, model year transmission. Um, looking good. We have a factory style bell housing, which is a big positive. You don't often see these. You see the aftermarket ones, so that's nice. This car is very correct, as if you haven't figured out already. Um, frame rails look like they're in good shape. Everything's painted black. All the metal work continuing to look good. Exhaust looks great. Uh, front end looks good. We always shake these front ends down. We have the mechanics look at them. We have the mechanics drive the cars. Everything, you know, we make sure everything is right. Um, up front here, we also have new soft lines going to disc brakes in the front, and if I didn't mention before, the rears are drums, and we do have all the mechanics go through those, make sure that there are no leaky wheel cylinders, misassemblies, you know, so on and so forth. New shocks in the front, uh, our, I guess, skid bar, or whatever you want to call this, the front uh, frame member here, that looks like it's in good shape, doesn't look like it's really ever hit anything in its lifetime. All of the bushings look like they're in good shape. Sway bar looks like it's in good shape. And I'd like to point out the definition of all the uh, front end components here. They took all this stuff off of here, and if it was not replaced, it was cleaned and painted properly before being reassembled on the car. Um, looks like our upper and lower control arm bushings had been, or I'm sorry, not bushings, uh, upper and lower ball joints had been replaced uh, just of recently. The boots are not ripped, and they look like they're full of grease, just as they should be. Um, and this is just a really nice car, guys. Uh, let's uh, take a look at wheels and tires and then we can get to the, the, the big block that's underneath the hood. Alright, as I pointed out in the uh, top side of the video, 
These are BF Goodrich Silvertown Radials with the Redline uh, tires, and the size on these is 215-70-R15, and it's on these uh, really nice billet uh, outer ring mags here. And once again, we've got our disc brake there. These are power, by the way, and you'll see that when they're under hood. Let's go check out the rear. All right, guys, uh, same uh, brand of tire back here, but it's a little bit bigger. These are 235-70-R15s and it has the same uh, good looking rim on it. I'd also like to point out while we're down here, you can see up inside this wheel well here, it's in excellent shape. There's no rust or anything like that up in there. It looks like it's all brand new as if it, this thing just rolled off of the factory floor. Um, also, I mean, just look at the paint from the underside too. Sometimes you'll see a lot of flaws that the body guys missed and the real, I don't see any. It's beautiful all the way down the side of the car. Let's go check out the big block. All right, guys, here's where the magic happens. Uh, this may be badged as a 396, however, it is actually a 454. It's a little bit bigger, bigger cubic inch. Um, this block was actually cast April 23rd, 1973 to be exact. Um, it has had a couple modifications made since then. Um, as you can see, we have a, uh, uh, well, you, I guess you can't really see, there's a top, a top hat on it. That's a Holley uh, 40, uh, 150 four barrel carburetor, mechanical secondaries. It's a mechanical choke as well, but they have it uh, wired uh, wide open, um, and it runs fine without it. Um, we have uh, stainless lines going up to it. Now, it is a dual feed carburetor as well, 650 CFM to be exact. Um, and it looks almost as if they bought these uh, stainless lines here. I mean, they're so well made, it's actually very surprising that uh, someone actually took the, the worksmanship to make these things. But uh, th that being said, the worksmanship on the car is actually very high, so it wouldn't, I guess it wouldn't come as that much of a surprise. All the hoses are correct for the car, you know, upper and lower radiator hoses, everything looks good. They actually bought the actual correct hose for this that has the slight bend in it so it doesn't kink. You see that often on big block Chevys. Um, factory intake manifold, they actually took the time to actually clean it before we installing it on the motor as opposed to just hosing everything orange. Um, interesting note on this particular engine, the suffix code on this for, uh, you know, people that uh, or into these sort of things is uh, it's TO427, so I, I just kind of got a kick out of that. Um, moving on from the motor, we have power brakes, as you can see here, uh, also new lines there as well. And uh, down here, we, the stainless uh, gas line is still going all the way back here, bent very well. We have cast manifolds on the car, uh, just as it should be from GM. Uh, AC Delco battery being held down tightly. We have a normal style uh, uh, what is it called? Alternator with the, uh, and by normal style, I mean the uh, antique style, which has the DeForest uh, voltage regulator there. I mean, the car is just actually really, it's just a really nice car. It's a great example of a 69 Camaro. I mean, it looks even as if the uh, squirter system is actually hooked up. I mean, we have all of our hoses in our bottle. I mean, it's all there. The fenders look like they're in beautiful shape. They were obviously taken off to be painted and then reassembled, you know, later on. Firewall looks like it's in great shape. None of the wiring looks to be haggled or anything of that nature. Uh, AC Delco horns in the front. I mean, it's just downright nice, guys. Well, I suppose that's about it. If you'd like to have this thing parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom at the number below and let Vanguard Motor Sales park your dreams in your driveway. All right, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it'll take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're going to give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.